Hey there guys and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. This is Casual Kiwi and today we're kicking off episode 10. Now something special that I want to do for episode 10 is go ahead and we're going to get some flight. What I want to work on getting on is some glowing chorus fruit. So glowing chorus fruit give you some creative flight uh, and basically it runs out after a period of time. Uh, but it's stackable. So the more you eat, the more flight you get. It stacks up and um, it puts a little timer on your screen and you can fly for that amount of time. So pretty cool. And all we need to do is make one of these purple slime saplings and get some milk. So it shouldn't be too hard. We've already got a blue slime sapling and then we should be away. The other thing I want to finish off is last week last week might have been two weeks ago i can't remember now we started getting these mechanism machines up and running and i got a bit confuddled about how they worked but effectively it's enrichment chamber into a smelter and then up into a chest so i have just been running some ambers uh through these guys uh just getting some stuff smelted so it's going ahead and it is churning through our leaves pretty quickly Look at that, we obviously don't have a buffer, so we're going to have to upgrade that uh, oh, generator as well. But that's no biggie, we can do that. But effectively, what I want to do is I want to grab these guys here. And that, 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 and that. And then that's all of the ambers. And then what we want to do is we want to put uh, that guy on there. And then what we'll do is we will go boom, 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 and boom. And then on the, that's an export cable. So on the export cable, we want to make this a high priority. Uh, smaller goes first, so we actually want a low priority. So we want to go probably higher than 20 because I think our main storage is 20 so we'll go we'll go 25 just for shits and gigs and then we want to go boom we'll move these to the next layer up once we've put them in like so like so like so and like so now effectively everything should come down here and get smelted so we've got 21 in there how many have we got in our inventory have we got any uh, iron amber we don't, but any iron amber by rights, once it's made, so that just changed, did that go up enough to actually make one? Is there, there's 20 in there, no, it's gone down because some have been smelted. Um, by rights, as they get made, they should get exported straight to the, excuse me, pardon me, straight to the uh, enrichment chamber and then sent across the energized smelter and then into this chest. Uh, what I will do is I'll set up another cable which will extract it from the energized smelter and back into the system and um, put it away in our chest as ores but i'll sort that out later for now it's doing its thing and putting our smelted stuff into this chest which is pretty neat uh, so we can go ahead and we should be able to get rid of these guys like so cool so that's up and running or it should be up and running why can i not escape there we go uh what we want to work on now is getting um some destabilized redstone so destabilized redstone we need redstone amber so at the moment that's being deleted if we go upstairs oh, yoink, and across over here we have this guy now basically we just need to wait for this guy to grow and create ourselves some amber with any luck that is redstone we have removed that from the whitelist of the trash can so by rights some should appear in here as this tree grows we need 10 of these uh, each one of these when smelted why did that not go in there can we use the acorns can we crush a you know, smelter no we can't we need, hmm, I'm sure we removed that from the whitelist. It should not be getting deleted, unless there's none getting, did we remove the wrong one? No, we removed the right one. Okay, so mustn't be creating any right now. There's none in here. Uh, redstone amber, no. 
Ah, there we go. Redstone resin. We've got three. Okay, so those three must have just been um, created from the last tree. Basically, that will give us 300 to stabilize redstone. So what we want is obviously we want a thousand miller buckets so that we can get a bucket of stabilized redstone, and then we can convert this guy into uh, a purple slime sapling. And then we need to grow that, and we need to get some of these slime balls. So to do that, we need to smelt a heap of these. Where did they go? We had some of those, and they have disappeared. Did I put them back in the... Oh, they're there, in my crafting grid. Um, so we need 10 of those, and then we can get that into the purple slime sapling, and then we can get some purple slime balls, and then we need to put them into some milk. Mm. So the other thing we want to milk is make. <laughs> the other thing we want to milk, we do want to milk a cow, but we also want to make a cow in a jar. So cow in a jar, how do we go about doing that? We need to make a milk jar, get a cow, and smush it with an anvil into this guy. So I've never actually done this before, so this could be interesting. So we have got a couple of cows. How do we go about doing this will be the thing. We need to make the milk jar. So let's try milk jar. This guy takes a bucket of milk and seven glass and a plank. Okay, so we can do that. We need one bucket of milk, so we need a bucket, which we've got three of. Yoink. Why is this not in... Sort by mount, that's what we want. JI's all mucked up. Okay, so we can take milk from you. That's cool, we've got milk. Um, glass, do we have glass? We do have glass. Okay, we can do this. Like so. Oh, a glass cauldron, that's pretty cool. Uh, we want a bucket of milk, and then we want a plank. Plank, 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 like so, should be good, and we have ourselves a milk jar. Okay, so we need an anvil. A yoink, no, we don't have any iron blocks, we can make three of those, and we have ourselves an anvil. So we have a milk jar, we have an anvil, cow in a jar. So effectively, we just drop this on the cow into the milk jar. Hmm. Okay. What have we got? We need, we're going to need some blocks probably to set this up. So let's see. Oh, we can get these out of here, can't we? So if we grab just... Are these not linked? J-I search. Okay. Um, just some, uh, some jungle wood. Why not? Why not? Yoink. If we go out here, cut that down. And if we go ahead and um, like so, and then we get our milk jar like so. What if we push our cow? Um, we're going to want that down there. Oh, it worked. Look at that. We have cow in a jar. And we've got almost 8,000 milk in there. So that takes a while. So that's a tenth of a bucket. Cool. So how do we pick this up? Do we just pick it up with a pick? We do. Okay. Condensed milk. That's pretty neat. That wasn't that hard. We'll get rid of this. So now we effectively have milk for days. We'll grab this egg. Uh, we might as well let these guys wander around. There's not too much harm they can do other than be noisy. What we do need to do is get some mufflers for the machines downstairs and then I can turn the block noises back up because everything's still very quiet. Uh, so that might be on the list as well. Have we got a sound muffler? We have not. So sound. Each block reduces sound within a radius of six. With a block and a dragon. Hmm. Super sound muffler. 
that's just some wool around a note block let's make that guy a eh? okay so we've got him up there right we'll worry about him in a moment uh, basically we want to grab the rest of our redstone resin which we've got plenty of we can go downstairs and quickly put that back on the whitelist to get uh, deleted because we don't need any more of that uh, not on that guy on that guy just one of you yoink like so and then we're going to head up and there should be nothing in the smeltery we'll go ahead and we'll remove our redstone clock because we don't want that auto pouring out of there uh, we'll get rid of our apple juice pick that up place it there for the moment uh, we want to put a tank down like so probably remove our faucet because i doubt that will go straight into the tank and we will use our fluid extraction pipe from cyclic which seems to work quite well uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll put in half of those 10 like so that was super fast and we have got one bucket of destabilized redstone perfect so if we go ahead and use our wrench we should be able to no that doesn't come off that does and it went straight into there that's fine uh, so a pick can remove that cable put the faucet back put the casting basin back and the redstone clock up there and then we should be good to go so we've got a bucket of destabilized redstone we should be able to place that guy down like so and we should be able to use a bucket to get him out um, what we can do is probably throw our cow in a jar down there as well oh it starts from scratch when you pick it up okay i didn't need that know that we're gonna need some milk i should have put that down earlier we got our anvil back which is quite neat um actually we'll go ahead and we'll place our anvil over here for now we're probably going to get rid of this chest soon it's just got stuff in it that can just go into our inventory this guy is getting quite full we're going to have to start looking at an me system relatively soon or at least adding another one of these big ass chests okay so what do we need to do we need to get a bucket like so and we need to grab a bucket of that put that in there and then we need to dunk this guy uh, into there like so and that gives ourselves a purple slime sapling so then what we need is some slimy dirt uh, if i get dirt some green slimy dirt like so and then if we place that there effectively placing that there and make them grow and if we got a crook Oh, I keep forgetting that I've got the old storage remote. Crook, we've got a bone crook, look at that. Okay, so make this guy grow. We might have some quick apple juice while we're at it. Yoink. And then let's get this guy growing. Jesus, it's been 33 minutes. Oh no, 33 seconds on the timer. I thought it was 33 minutes already. Right, that didn't give us one. Does it come from the trunk? come on give us ye old oh none we got 18 slime saplings but no dang purple slimes i thought you got one for one from this guy i thought that was the case but apparently not Come on, grow, 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 grow. There we go. None? None again? And none yet again. Hmm. So, purple slime. Chance 30%. Okay, that's pretty slim. I thought it was a one-to-one -one chance of getting one of those guys. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll chuck it in a um, bonsai pot. And we will come back when I've got some of the slime balls. So I think I've got a bonsai pot either in my inventory or ready in this guy. Oh. 
Bonsai pot. We've got some of the slimy dirt and we've got one of the saplings, so that should be no biggie. Like so. Slimy dirt, like so. And let's chuck one of those guys in there. So that's growing. And then once we've got some of those, we should have some milk, which we do, and we should be able to get ourselves some chorus fruit. And then we just need to energize them. So energizing them is basically in a circle. You need eight of those bad boys, and then you put a dollop of glowstone in the middle. So I will come back when I've got eight of the uh, purple slime balls. I'll see you shortly. Right, guys, we're back. We have got eight purple slime balls. Now, to use those, basically what we want to do is get ourselves a piece of glowstone. Uh, like so, we put that in the middle and then we go ahead and we put, oh no, let's turn the chorus fruits into thingies, isn't it? So what we actually need to do is I think we need to dunk these in milk. Uh, so to get the chorus fruit, of these guys, we need to put those around glowstone to get glowing ones, but to get them into chorus fruits, uh, it's in there, it is apples into purple slime liquid to get the liquid we put that into milk or we do it in the melter so that's fine so we get ourselves our bucket and then we put that into there and so it's not actually eight we only need one per chorus fruit and then we need some apples apples which we have quite a few what did i just throw i just threw something did i just throw my wrench there it goes I knew I threw it. So, into there, what we want to do is throw one of these guys, the slime ball, into the milk to make purple slime liquid. And then we get our apple and we go, four of those should turn into four chorus fruit. Nice. So we want another bucket of milk, like so. One of those, four more apples, and now we should have eight chorus fruit. Now with those chorus fruit, we should be able to... If we grab that, go around like so, one piece of glowstone, and we have eight glowing chorus fruit. And now, if we eat this guy, we get two minutes of flight. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. And then we can smudge these guys down, and they accumulate. So they just add up. Oh, it's amazing. How much have we got? We've got 15 minutes, almost 16 minutes of creative flight just from that. Now that's set up, that's doing its thing, it's growing chorus fruit effectively here. We've got, excuse me, unlimited milk, uh, so it is not hard to make. And we've got apples from our apple tree, so not bad at all. And the great thing is, when you're not flying, the timer in the top right hand corner of the screen stops counting down. So at 15.35, we are not going down. So it's only when we fly that the camera, uh, that the timer starts. It's freaking amazing. So really, really cool. Okay, so moving on. We now have creative flight pretty much automated. It's gonna make its thing. Probably we'll look at making a gluttony charm so that we can uh, get these things or eat these things a bit faster and make things a bit tidier. But other than that, it is going great guns. So we'll get rid of this stuff back into our inventory. I don't know why we have all these iron shovels. I assume they've come from the old um, other dimension. That's what I needed to show you. I forgot to show you the hunting dimension. I've gone ahead and I have made ourselves a mob farm. So I doubt there'll be too many mobs in there at the moment because I haven't been in this dimension, but effectively I made a block. I put our mob masher on this other side there with a lever to turn them off or on, and then I've got an item collector from Cyclic. So it's got 34 gunpowder in there. Um, so if I go item collector, it's pretty basic. It's just a couple of droppers block of lapis lazuli, three hoppers and two iron, and you point that in the right direction and you can set the size and it picks stuff up. So if we go back, like look at all this stuff, plus all the stuff in here, like all of this Android stuff, pretty cool. Um, I basically AFK'd and we've got almost a full stack of ender pearls, heaps and heaps and heaps of gunpowder and bones and all these good things, um, rotten flesh so we can make plenty of leather, but effectively, 
I go ahead and I stand about here and I AFK and I come back and we have stuff. So if I stand here for just a minute, uh, we'll go and check the old dropper, uh, dropper item collector and we should have some stuff. Pretty freaking neat. And basic. Uh, the only thing we sort of need to uh, hook up is, oh, well, I'm not sure how it works. If anyone could comment and tell me how that works, um, do I need to be in this dimension? Obviously I do, but if I put a, um, a weirding gadget uh, next to the chunk for this guy, will items still spawn, will entities, sorry, still spawn and get killed by the mob masher, or do I need to be in this dimension for the entities to spawn? I'm not sure how that works. Um, I can test it, I guess, but it'd be great if someone could let me know, uh, and we'll go from there. But effectively now, if I go forward, I'm not sure if it's because I'm here or if it's because the area is loaded. Um, we have stuff, stuff and things. Lots of stuff and things, so it's awesome. So eventually I'd like to obviously automatically sort all this stuff. But we can go ahead and we can... Oh, I should have locked that first. What we'll do is... We'll, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, so I want to go ahead and put a, one of those into there. I will make a key and lock these guys at some stage. Uh, anything else we want to take? I don't know what an Omni tool is, so I'm going to take one of those. And we'll take the carrots, we'll take the spuds. Um, I don't believe we need anything else. We might take a few pieces of sulfur, because I don't know what we can use that for. Uh, glowstone dust and things we don't need right at this time. We can come back and get this other stuff if we need to. But the ender pearls will definitely come in handy. Okay. So back to the main dimension. Let's do this thing. Those guys are growing. We'll chuck this stuff away. Uh, yoink, yoink, yoink. Omni tool. What if I right click that? Oh, it breaks blocks. I. It's like a laser gun. I like it. That's pretty neat. Okay, cool, we're going to hang on to that. I assume it's full of power. So damage 8, damage per second 8.89, range 66 square meters, accuracy. Hmm, okay. So this is a matter overdrive the, uh, uh, I want to say zombie, it's an android mod. So you can turn yourself into an android, which to me is pretty cool. I'm not sure whether I want to do that yet or not, but I do have a couple of things I do want to make. So we've already had made this guy. Uh, we've done that. We've got ourselves some glowing chorus fruit. We want to make ourselves a super sound muffler. So let's work on that. Effectively, we need a few things. So let's click on here, a note block like so. One note block. And then like so, and we have ourselves a super sound muffler. Okay, so if we hit downstairs, my flip frame rate is playing up for some reason. And if we were to put this guy maybe behind these machines, um, I wonder if I put it there, it just sort of floats. And then if we go into sounds, uh, options, Music and sounds blocks. We'll go to 70%. Done, done. Back to game. That should be still quiet. It is because the super sound muffler is doing its thing. But if we go upstairs, now our chests are loud again. Perfect. So I was just quietening down the mechanism machines. Okay, so that's neat. So these guys are doing their thing. Oh, and it's exported silver amber, which wasn't there before. So we were working on iron before, and it's obviously exported stuff out of the system. So there's 64 in there now. Let's have a look. Um, so amber, uh, silver amber, we've got 104. So let's see if this guy goes down. If it, it does, it just exported one to the enrichment chamber. So that is awesome. Boom, creating pulverized silver, pulverized irons, getting 
smelterized and getting sent through to there. So we must be still burning through a butt ton of leaves. We are. We're still on silver leaves, but we've only got five, so we must be out of silver leaves. So that is going to convert to a different type of leaf leaf very shortly, uh, which is awesome. So we're going to want to look at upgrading this generator as well. We'll go ahead and get rid of the sound muffler. We've got that sorted. Last one, what's it going to put in? Iron leaves. Nice. So we are using our stuff, which is really cool. So I think what we're going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to upgrade our gen set. Uh, we're going to have to go to an upgradable combustion generator. So that's fine. We can do that. Um, I don't know about this water candle either. I, I basically went for a scroll through the old JI and found some cool stuff. This water candle increases spawns when lit, so I wonder if that would increase the spawns in my mob spawner and uh, make it so that I get more stuff and things, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but effectively, I want to make a magnet. So let's make ourselves a magnet real quick because I like to not lose things. So I want to make uh, this guy. A yoink from Pickle Tweaks that uses one of our things. So shift right click and that should turn that on. So effectively, if I it takes a second, but it does pick it up. And it picks it up from a fair old distance too. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's gonna pick things up. I wonder if it works when it's in our inventory. It does even better, so it doesn't even need to be in a hot bar. That's awesome. Okay. So we've got ourselves a magnet. We can go ahead and get rid of you. We're working through our stuff and things. We are getting there so fast. Teleporters is in the grand scheme of things. Probably what I want to work on now is an upgradable generator. So that comes from a simple combustion generator, which we already have, with modifier components. We're going to need four of these modifier components. So they're a little bit expensive. Blocks of concrete powder with pulverized charcoal or black ink. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go into our storage remote and we want to start making some of these stuff and things. So we're going to need four blocks of iron. So that we can do. Four blocks of iron. Uh, we're going to need a four, eight, sixteen of these. And they'll have eight from each thing. So that should be eight, sixteen. And then that should be just about us ah oh, oops each one makes four so we made enough to make four but okay so we've got four of those and now we just need the combustible generator which we already have so we just need to break this guy real quick now can we just pop you out of there we can't so let's just pop him out of there like so did we pick it up we did and then if we plop him in the middle with you like so, we get ourselves an upgradable combustion generator. And then plonk him down. He gets filled up with some redstone leaves. And now we should be able to go ahead and put some upgrades in this guy. Okay, so speed upgrades from simple generators. That's importing, exporting. So simple. if we go, I don't know if it's the same. That didn't work. Hmm. At simple. Okay, so stack upgrades. Speed of importing, exporting. So is that the same as the speed upgrade for these guys, I wonder? We'll try one, eh? Let's try one and see what happens. So we need to be in here. Make one of these, like so. So that gives us four. Uh, let's see what happens if we shove four of these in here. We can't shove four of these in here. So uh, if we go upgrades, maybe a speed upgrade. S-P-E-D, speed upgrade. Nuclear craft. Nuclear 
mechanism speed upgrades. Hmm. What are the upgrades for simple generators? Combustion gen. No, so SPED upgrade. That from nuclear craft. Mechanism, matter overdrive, simple storage network, industrial foregoing. So none of these look like the right one. Let's try, I would have thought the one I've just made would have been the right one. Let's try one of these. Yoink, yoink, one of you. And no, that doesn't go in there. That doesn't go in there. Hmm, interesting. Upgrade, what have we got? Industrial foregoing, upgrade container. All sorts of different upgrades, but nothing for, those are for V's craft. Oh, what, oh no. That's for mob grinding utilities. Hmm, interesting. Why can I not upgrade this? I'm sure I can put speed upgrades in this in this dang thing. I was sure it was those ones from Simple Storage Network. Hmm. I'm gonna go away, guys, and I'll come back when I have this figured. Okay, guys, I'm back. I find these guys from Valkyrie, Valkyrie Lib Simple Generators Speed Modifier. So I'm guessing that's the one. I just put simple in, not at simple, because uh, it's not simple storage. Uh, so I guess it's a different mod. I don't know. But anyway, we've got speed modifier from these guys, and that's the modifier component, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and make some of these. I keep pressing E to get out of stuff, and it's not how we do it. So uh, these guys here, yoink. I thought we made some of those that were spare. Maybe we didn't. We'll make... 12 of them for shits and gigs, why not? Uh, and then some of these. So let's make four for now and see what that does. In the need for speed, one. That's quite a bit quicker. Two. We'll put all four in. That's chonking through the leaves. Is that filling up our stuff? Oh yes, that's filling up our buffer much faster so that's producing more power than we are currently using which is great so this should be filling up not currently so maybe we're matching the power we're using right now hmm. seems to be So that's full, that's full. It is matching the power usage from one machine. Oh no, we are starting to store power. Uh, so I wonder what happens when this other machine fires up, whether we are still gonna store power or whether we're gonna be slightly short. Uh, no biggie, what we can do, I think you can add a stack in each of these slots to run quite a bit of power, but it's going to be interesting whether or not we can handle that with just leaves, or whether we're going to need to put another export bus onto this guy, which hopefully we can do to the sides, uh, which should be quite easy, just hook around the corner here, and even change this around to go into this side if need be, uh, and then start putting some wood and maybe even a packager or some form of crafter that will turn the wood into planks and maybe sticks to get more use out of it. Um, that could be quite cool. Um, I wonder if we could do this in a bloody compact machine to get rid of it all as well. 
Uh, I don't know. I quite like having it on display. It's symmetrical and nice other than the ugly cables, but we can probably tidy that up at some stage. Uh, and I want to put all these machines away in a room at some stage as well. Okay, so we probably want to look at getting some speed upgrades for these guys too, so that uh, the automation of that's a bit faster, but anyhow, in the meantime, I think we have probably reached the end of this episode. So thanks very much for watching guys, uh, I appreciate it. Go ahead and comment if you know if uh, the other dimension, if the old uh, weirding gadget will keep that chunk loaded and will keep that operating or whether I actually need to be there. And uh, subscribe and like and all those other good things too. And I'll see you next time.